It is the final day of our series. We've been doing this all week into the air, land, and sea, exploring new frontiers in space, underground, and the ocean. And here's our little pioneer. Jenna <laughs> recently traveled to Cape Cod, Massachusetts to tag great white sharks. They're so courageous. I did, and I've never been called a pioneer before. So since 2009, Cape Cod has a newly emerging population of great whites. And while that may not excite beachgoers, it's a unique opportunity for marine biologists and Nat Geo photographers. For decades, the powerful great white shark has both fascinated and frightened us, even if statistically we're far more likely to die from a spider bite. <laughs> Movies like Jaws did not help the great white's reputation. But not so for award-winning Nat Geo photographer Brian Skiri. These are predators, and there's no question that we have to respect them, but they're not anywhere near as bad as they've been portrayed. You know, I have over time been able to routinely get in the water and within a couple of feet of many species of sharks, and that's something I wouldn't do with a grizzly bear or a wolf or a tiger. For an underwater photographer, he says they're a perfect subject. They perfectly blend grace and power. You know, they move exquisitely through the water, and yet they exude this great confidence. So it's sort of been an intoxicating subject. So intoxicating, he's just published a new book called Shark, filled with amazing images he's captured underwater. I really love the storytelling part, to be able to see things, make photographs, and then share that. He hopes he'll have a lot more to share from today's trip off the coast of Cape Cod. What's been happening here only since 2009 is that we have a, a newly emerging population of white sharks, and that is unique in the world. I mean, this would be analogous to a new pride of lions occurring in Africa someplace. And the reason it's happening here is because the seals that they feed on have started to come back. And it's a wonderful opportunity to learn more about the great white. The truth is we know very little about these animals. What a tag will yield is its migrations, what depth it's diving at, and then that's information that's downloaded by the scientists. So we can begin to put together the puzzle of where these animals go, how they interact with maybe beaches and people and other animals in the ocean. Ready? <laughs> Well, this receiver tells us which of our tagged sharks are around and when they were here. Really valuable information that shark researcher Greg Scomo hopes will help dispel the myth that these giant ocean creatures are simply people eaters. And that's clearly not the case. These animals have evolved to feed on all kinds of creatures that live in the ocean. Greg has been studying sharks for 30 years. He's now the senior biologist working to tag sharks off Cape Cod. The program is funded by the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. Well, we've been doing a bunch of tagging studies most recently, and it's really quite fascinating. They're really seasonal visitors here. As the waters warm up, they exploit the seal resources here. They feed on the seals, and then they leave at the end of the season, so they're almost like tourists. All right, shark ahead. And the process of tagging these giant fish is amazing. We're on the lookout for the shark. What would you do if we found him? We're going to get really close to it, so it's right underneath me, and then I'm going to use this GoPro camera and just videotape the shark. Yes. All right, get a sense of, of whether it's a male, a female, and it's a shark we previously know. Mm -hmm. If the shark sticks around, we're going to go ahead and uh, place a tag in its dorsal fin. Are you the one that actually places it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll place it right from here uh, and keep our fingers crossed. Okay, keep our fingers crossed. Now we wait. Shark is close, but it's deep. There he is, he's right under me, he's right under me. He's right under you. Isn't that him? It's not moving. Why? I don't think it's a shark. <laughs> it's, it's not reacting to us at all. Might be a rock. We had almost given up hope. Nice. Yes. That's what we want. He's a good distance away. I'm pointing right at him, see him? Oh my gosh, I see it! I saw his torso, it's beautiful! Let's tag that! Let's tag him! Wow. That's kind of scary, but awesome. He's down a little. Now he's getting spooky. Uh-oh. Really hard to see him. There he is! Oh, Tail oh moving. Gosh. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh my that. gosh, I see him! <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh! Oh wow! Let's tag him. We can do a tag. He's got a good pace going. Oh, I see him! I see him! <laughs> Oh, we tagged him! We tagged him! We tagged him! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. 
was really cool. We found out from the video that Greg took that the shark is a female. Uh -huh. And so the crew decided to name her Jenna. Yeah, right. I have a great wife. I don't, is that a compliment, by yes. the way? So I have a great wife named after me somewhere on the coast of wow. Cape Cod. Wow. <laughs> Can I'll you all say it. that about yourself? And then they follow those signals? Yes, they follow those signals. And, and one of the things that's really important is that they make sure that beachgoers, like when they get close to the beach, uh, the beachgoers know oh. that there's a great white close to them. So they might say, like, Jenna is lurking yes. in the water. And the rock, Jenna is by too the way, close. The rock, by the way, has not moved. <laughs> in the last week that was week a really a embarrassing moment. Um, but by the way, you two can try tagging. The Chatham Bars in, along with the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy, takes tourists out to do that same cool. thing, which Very was, cool. by the way, really fun. And all the profits go to shark research. That was great, so Jenna. we could just tag Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it. Yes, you could no. tag me for free, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. Thanks. Jenna. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.